The sad and ongoing saga about the late and wonderful Princess Diana does roll on, but what is the next instalment? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you today as ever, truly mean that. This particular story is sad because, you know, we all know the ending, don't we now, sadly, of our wonderful Princess Diana. Yes, I know she was no saint, she did have her own problems, but of course nobody should have ended their life the way that she did. And she was so well loved around the world, but of course a lot of the problems that really occurred in her later life really did start with that now infamous panorama interview. You know, the infamous one that now can't be screened anywhere in the world because the BBC have promised not to. A little bit late, isn't it? Around about 25 years when you think about it, because it's still all over the internet. You can find full copies. And of course, it is really, some might say, an historical fact. This all centers upon, of course, a recent statement by her brother, Earl Spencer, Charles. He basically said that he was amazed that no one had been uh, in charge or criminal uh, charges against these people involved. And that has really opened the groundswell over here in the United Kingdom of a lot of people agree with him, and rightly so. When you look back to that particular incident, it's so obvious now that there were so many people working towards conspiring to confer, and of course, more importantly, get Her Royal Highness Princess Diana to take part in that interview. And I've said before here on the show, that must have shaped her thinking for years to come, given the fact that she was given all this false information by the disgraced BBC reporter Martin Bashir. Now, what is interesting is, yes, the BBC are willing now to pay people a lot of money, your money if you're a licensed fee payer. In fact, they're paying over £200,000 out to the former nanny of Harry and William, Tiggy Leg Book. And of course, you know, she had to clear her name, which thankfully was cleared last week in the High Court. What's interesting here, though, is that really, should charges be brought against the people for those involved? Many people think so. And it's going to be a very difficult position, in fact, which could include our brand new Prime Minister when they are instated, we are told, by September the 5th, because many people want to push ahead with this. This is a very disgraceful time for the once revered BBC, and it's certainly not going away. And with the now very vocal Charles Spencer behind it, it looks like finally Diana may be left to rest in peace, but more importantly, her truth outed. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.